Federal uh, Controlled Substances Act, yeah, they, they got provisions in there to schedule drugs the right way. And uh, they just need uh, health professionals to uh, tell them that they got to be responsible with how they, what they put in those schedules and, and how they place them there. And that's, uh, that's really basically uh, all it takes is people to get up and say, well, you know, people that uh, the federal government can think that have some credibility, you know, to actually say that this is uh, wrong that you've placed this here. It's cultural use and history. Come on. Anyway, what am I saying? I'm trying to tell you that I've gotten about, I don't know, 80 or 90 people on this Facebook fan page for health professionals for responsible drug scheduling. And, uh, you know, I wrote a letter to the uh, Senate Judiciary Committee when they were uh, uh, having uh, their current Michelle Leonard uh, nominated to be the head of the Drug Enforcement Administration. She, uh, you know, yeah, she does. She, she's, you know, moving other cannabinoids into into Schedule Three so that pharmaceutical companies can can produce uh, THC pills and other types, and uh, at the same time, you know, maintaining the Schedule One status of the of the plant that they're all allowed to extract from. So it's it's a pretty it's a pretty sweetheart screwed up deal. And that's what we were wrote in this letter to the Judiciary Committee from our group. We just need like we get more names and more you know more more members of this group who are health professionals. It's like. Well, you know, the government will actually hear from these people. They don't hear from us because uh, everyone's afraid and, you know, what, they're afraid of the DEA and their license and all that stuff. But if they can stand with the science and the medicine and the compassion the humanity of it, which is what it is, I mean, what else are they going to in the first place for? You know, that's what, the, the, you know, so let's say. And you yeah. Uh, and, and cannabis using people should be less afraid because that system in the brain that uh, deals with fear and the emotional processing of fear in the amygdala, that's all, all those neurons are that cannabinoid receptors on them, you know, so as you use cannabis, you can alter them, their, their, their signaling and less fear, less attachment to fearful memories, you know, that's how the PTSD thing is like that, so I'm surprised that more cannabis using people are, aren't more brave, that's right, yeah, so I think it's there, you just gotta have that spark and then, you know, just go with it. So anyway, tell, tell your doctor friends and um, people that uh, are health professionals, nurses, uh, nurse practitioners, uh, anybody that uh, calls themselves a health professional to find that. Thanks a lot.